Amen. Uh, we have a unique uh, privilege, something we look forward to when it happens. I'm looking and I don't see, so I'm going to ask, there, the one in the aisle, Bradley Joseph Baliga, to escort his parents to the front. Way to go, Dad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, turn around. They want to see. Oh. All right. Amen. Amen. Scripture teaches us that it was early in the life of Christ that Mary and Joseph brought him to the temple uh, to be dedicated to the Lord. The Bible tells you to raise him up in the way he should go. That word actually is better translated the way he's bent. You're going to meet him over the next 18 years. Let us pray. <laughs> but in that, uh, it's going to be your privilege, but your responsibility to guide him based on who God has designed him to be, that he will meet and know God early in life, follow him always. We have, I don't have an extra hand, so I'm just going to hold these up. You want to hold those? No, you can't hold those. Here, I can do it this way. I can do it this way. Can you see me now? <laughs> I'm going to figure this out. I need a hand. Some, okay, we got one here. A hand. Woohoo! Give me the red one. Vikram. Deep red. Symbolic of the strength that the father brings into the family. One day, Bradley will grow up, and he's going to wonder what a godly man looks like. He's going to look to you. He's going to want to know how a man should treat his wife. He's going to look to you. Then, at some point, he's going to wonder what a loving father, when he starts wrestling with that decision of Christ, what a loving father looks like, he's going to look to you. So I offer you this, this rose um, in response to your promise that you will be that godly man. That you will be that good husband. That ultimately, that you will be the loving father that he needs. That you will speak early and often to him about the love of God and the grace that's available through Christ. So on that pledge, I'll give you that. Amen. <laughs> Unless you dance, you can't do that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Here it's getting better. Uh, the pink rose, a whole lot, a whole lot prettier in my opinion than the red. And you've got that. You already worked that out. Next to Vikram, you're looking better all the time. Uh, it's like winning. Yeah, but it's also it, it's also symbolic of, of the loving side of God, that nurturing nature, and that that forgiveness that is unrelenting. Bradley's going to come to you when he skins his knee. I know. <laughs> you have to do everything. Also, when that first little girl breaks his heart, he's going to come running to you. When he goes to look for what he wants in a wife, he's going to look to you. But more than anything else, the forgiving nature of God, he'll find it in you. So we offer you this rose and... Uh, with your agreement that you will be that nurturing nature, that forgiveness that he's going to need, that's without question, that you will speak to him early and often about the love of God and the grace available through Christ. Amen. <laughs> this white rose is symbolic of his purity. Now, that's only going to last for a few more months. And then he's mobile and the baby will appear. <laughs> but we're, we're going to offer them this rose as our pledge. That we will love him as our own. That we will demonstrate what it is to be a godly man and a godly woman in his presence. And most of all, 
that when he looks at us, he will understand what we mean by loving well. May I give them this rose you know, on your pledge? Amen. Amen. Let's pray together. I don't want to hold him. No, you, you leaned at me, and I'm like, no, I'm going to touch Alana. Okay. You touch the baby. That'll work. Yeah. Father God, we love you. Master, we thank you that you extend life, that you give us gifts that we don't deserve. Master, that you invite us to participate in your kingdom. We first lift up Vikram and Alana. God, ask that you would bless them, that you would guard their home. Master, that this would truly be a godly home, that Bradley will grow up safe and secure, that he'll find you early. Well, God, that's, we bring Bradley to you in that, in that sense, that you, God, would seek him out, that he would meet you early, would follow you all the days of his life. We trust you to that end. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.